Hey guys, I thought I'd do a uh, GPS test video. So here we have three, no, four GPSs. Um, and I'll just start them all for you to see. So that's one started, and started, and this one we start. And then we have the, the, the Sky RC here, stop, read. We start it again here. Start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's tape it up. Let's see what kind of speeds we can get. I see this one has already jumped a little bit. Let's just discard that. should have made a difference. The higher speeds we get, the more accurate these units are. At least that's my theory on it. And so what I want to do here is go for a very short but steady. So the speed will be consistent, but over a fairly short distance, or over a fairly long distance actually, the first run. And hopefully all the GPS's will come in at about the same speed because we are keeping a consistent, very consistent speed and so they will all have a good chance to make a, a, a reading. Let's go and have a look. And I will set up the transmitter to something like I think I will set the throttle to like you can see already here just by traveling over here we have a difference that's fairly big uh, percentage wise but uh, yeah so let's put them in And I will have the throttle limit set to, to the end point for the throttle. We will set to 50, or let's set it to 40, just to be on the safe side. I don't want to do anything ridiculous. So now the throttle has been set to 40%. Um, and so let's let's make a consistent run here and bring it in and see if all the GPSs are showing more or less the same. Oh, I see I got something funky going on. Oh yeah, now I know why. It's because I have throttle on two channels. So channel three is also my throttle. I will need to set that to 40 as well. So 40 on throttle and channel three. Let's see, that should be much more consistent. Yeah, it is. So let's send it and see. Here we have a long run, very consistent speed. And so we will, we will take it back here. And again, we will have a long distance, having a consistent pace. And hopefully all the GPSs are more or less showing the same. Let's have a look. Okay, let's see. I read here 70.5. I think you can see it. 70.5, we have 71.4 and 70, no, 68.5. So that's fairly consistent. If I were to take another run, I'm, I'm pretty sure they will kind of even out. Let's, let's try it again. One more run with a very consistent speed.
very consistent speed here and then let's bring it back in actually I forgot to check the sky RC but let's do that now And I hope you guys can see this. Yeah, now we are here at 71.3, 71.4, and 69.9. I hope you can see this, guys. I'll just put the camera in here for you to have a better look. That's how it is. Just put it on again. Let's check the sky RC. I, I have a sus yeah. That, I think this should be very close as well. Let's stop it and read. Seventy, dead on seventy here. You guys can see. Okay. And so now I will try to simulate a speed run. So I will start there. I just started this one again. And I will reset all these. So I reset this one, now I just need to reset the other ones. I will load them up, start this one. Load it up, start this one. And so now these are all zeroed out. And um, let's, let's try this time to simulate a speed run. So that means trying to get into peak velocity, so we know now the peak velocity will be about 70. So let's see, let's make a run now that's very short, but where we where we hear the boat rev out in a similar fashion to before, just very short this time. So now we, we will just make it across here to make it controlled. So now we are simulating a speed run. And again down here. I know it was very short this time, but this is just to prove a point. Probably, yeah, we don't know the speed for this one, but let's see. I, I have a suspicion now that the, that there's a big variety in speed across all the GPSs. And um, just due to the fact that they haven't had the time to stabilize on, on, a, on a peak speed, but the highest speed should be probably the more accurate of the, because it's, yeah, that's something I want to go into detail at some point. Oh, I actually forgot to turn on the forerunner, I see. But okay. Let's see. 61, the sky as he says. And we have 53.7 and 38.8. And so that's more than 10 kilometers per hour difference right there. And then we didn't get the forerunner, which is the older of the of the, of the system, but let's, let's try that one again. Let's do it all over again. I'll just restart the, the sky RC here. That's inside the boat. I'm just gonna have to relocate this one. Just to be able to, to get here, yeah, and we will need to start this one so now it's started and now we can just stop this one stop this one and so we go in here and we start it we go in here and we start it yeah so I will try the same exercise one more time very short run to simulate a speed run that's over a very short time and you have a huge huge acceleration phase and not a very long stabilizing phase so let's do that yeah let's see
So we have 58.1, 52.1 and 59.5. So actually the older one was the lucky one this time. And let's see what the sky as he says. I have a suspicion it might be reading a little higher due to the higher refresh rate of the unit. So stop and read. 63, so the highest one, due to the fact that it gets so much more data compared to the other ones. But let's reset this one. So we will start again. And then I will send this one just to prove that they are all within the margin of error or something that they are within. They are kind of, they're reading identical speeds when we get to consistent speeds, just because they are working in the exact same way. So let's have another stable speed run or stabilizing run just to show that the speeds are just need to stabilize. Yeah, we have a reading of 73.8, 72.9, no, 72.6 and 72.1. So very stable, very within the margin of error on these units, showing that they are indeed reading the same results, reading the same speeds, working the same way. And let's see the Sky RC unit here. 72 exactly. So yeah. This is for you guys not trusting the results if you have several DPS units in the boat. Um, it's just a matter of getting the peak speed at a given moment because when you do a speed run of 100 plus mile an hour you will need a huge lake to do it consistently or you will or you will only hit that peak speed in a fraction of a second. So so that's that's just to to show you guys how it works. <clears throat> Here we have the sky I see. Bill of Amax. 